Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the second episode of Researchers in Tourism. I am Simona De Cortis, and today we are here with Professor Francisco Diaz. Good morning, Francisco. Hi, good morning. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you, too. So let's start with introducing Professor Francisco Diaz. Francisco, can you tell us uh, what's your education and how did you choose to be a researcher in tourism? Okay, uh, my education started as a master degree in Moscow in neuropsychology uh, because I wanted in that time in 80s to be a scientist, uh, to a researcher. But when I, re I returned to Portugal to get work, in that time, neuropsychology was not necessary in the country. Nowadays, it's, it should be very easy to find because neuroscience, you know, nowadays neuropsychology is recognized uh, everywhere. In that time, I, wa I was ahead of time. So I decided to change to social psychology. That is uh, more uh, necessary in that time uh, branch of psychology. And I start work in the Institute of Management and Tourism in Porto as teacher of consumer behavior in tourism. A long time I was teacher of consumer behavior in tourism and I decided uh, to, uh, to be, be more, more closer to tourism and I decided to uh, uh, go to, to uh, PhD program in tourism at Vienna University. So I finished in 2006 my PhD in tourism uh, from Perpignan University. And from that time, I'm to, uh, a teach, teacher and researcher in tourism. Okay, okay. Thank you. Was it easy to follow the Sorry? Was it easy to follow this path? What can you tell us? What can you tell to uh, students who would like to follow this path? Look, um, it's not, uh, depends on, on you, depends, it's up to everyone, because uh, tourism is a very large area of research, it's very, very large, it's a multi-dimensional phenomenon, tourism, and engage a lot of science. In different universities, there are different approaches to tourism, so uh, this is a um, uh, field of many opportunities and uh, depends what I suggest, uh, for example, to start with global, thing, uh, global thinking, mm -hmm. with holistic approach to tourism. Because if you start from the start, you decide to be very specific, to decide a small topic to study, you lose time. Because tourism is important if you approach from the complexity as all these phenomena uh, in a long-term process. Okay, very interesting. And what's your main research focus now? In this moment, my main research focus is related with uh, all-time wars. Uh, what tourist has in mind? Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, is there, is a, there is a general consensus about the importance or relevance of tourist experience. But usually it's just, uh, just um, allegations. We have to understand what is, is going on in tourist mind. Uh, the connections between imagery, emotions, desires, perceptions, intentions, decisions, and behavior. All this is important. And uh, unfortunately, uh, psych psychology is not used in a high level as I desired. So I try to make my contribution in this area. So Good. Good. And um, how, um, wh where do you get your ideas? How do you choose? Uh, Usually, uh, I'm, I'm very skeptic about the easy consensus 
created in academia. Usually, uh, there are some models that become, become uh, like mainstream models for something. And all people uh, uh, use these same models to be more, maybe to be more protected, to publish better, and so on. But I try to think by myself. Sometimes I find a big gap between what for me is evident and what in uh, academy is considered as important. So this gap is for, for me the sources of inspiration uh, to use my uh, intuition to start my own research against the mainstream. Sometimes without conceptual model, just to verify, I start step by step uh, searching uh, uh, by myself without uh, intention to publish, just to verify my intuitions. And if my intuitions are uh, according to that data uh, uh, supo uh, uh, supported, I start more serious research programs. This is very risky because this, uh, you, you go alone against the mainstream. First, second, to demonstrate the validity of your uh, approaches, you have to fight against uh, the, the mindset of reviewers. So, but in the final, the satisfaction is more. Is, is, is more because you did your own path along the, the discipline of tourism. Good, so you do suggest to do this, to follow the inspiration. I suggest young st uh, students, PhD students, to don't forget that they have the right to use their intuition. But because it's very risky, I suggest to be connected with people that uh, help them to support their projects. To be alone is very difficult. Uh, individual intuition is very risky. It's better to be in a group of uh, people that think more or less in the same direction. Good, good. I, I think it's good also. Um, uh, another question. Are you happy with what you do now? I'm very happy because uh, there are a, a set of professions then you can be yourself. Mm. Uh, as a, a, a teacher in the university or a researcher, no one sit on, uh, on your mind. No one sit on over your head, decided what you have to think, what you have to do. You are the first and last responsible of, you, of, of yourself. I, uh, I know that this is not very comfortable if uh, I want a um, very easy life. People that want to, uh, after six o'clock uh, 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 p.m., to disconnect and don't think of the work, it's not good. But people that think that life and work is the same thing, we, uh, 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 every writer, every painter, every artist, and every good researcher have to live or don't differentiate life and work. And if you believe that you can find self-satisfaction of your profession, if you are not alienated, you prefer to decide by yourself what is better. And the research allows us to take the risk to be ourselves. It means we have to be very uh, confident, we have to be self-motivated, resilient, you have to be even, don't be afraid to be alone sometimes. But this is, the compensation is big because you are full person, not just a piece in the machine or in the structure that some organizations um, use to be. Thank you, Francisco. Welcome. I like you. You have to take the risk be yourself yes <laughs>
which is not always easy. You're right. So it's, a, it's a question of uh, growing, uh, growing by to, to start adult, uh, take, uh, 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 taking care of yourself and all around you because you are part of the universe. You are responsible of your path. Of course, for example, we can we can create new networks worldwide. Nowadays, internet allows. But uh, when you go to cooperate in, in the international level, you have a big responsibility about you and the other others because the kind of connections we create. Nowadays, we are in area of networks. Each network have very uh, big influence on others. So we as a researchers, we can uh, influence the agenda of the world. So we are very influential, even, even when we don't think about it, because we are in networks. So to be in networks is not to be member, is to be influential. I can be in network and at the same time independent. I contribute to the others according to my conscience. Because no one pays me to co cooperate. No one pays me to agree or, do, or to disagree. This is important. My institution pay me to, uh, uh, to do something good. And I decide what to do. <laughs> it's a great responsibility, yes. Yes. actually. And we have uh, uh, really to find a balance in between our intuition and who we are and the work, yes. uh, the, the group work, which is yes. very, very important. Uh, wow. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Again, I am curious because oh. you're organizing um, a tourism film festival yes. this year. Yes. Can you tell us something about it? Yes. Please? So I created uh, 14 years ago a festival that is it is working very successful. Art, uh, Art and Tour, International Tourism Film Festival. This is a Portuguese festival, uh, international of course, but located in Portugal. Uh, is very international. For example, jury members will have 32 from 17 countries. It's a huge festival for this niche of tourism, mm -hmm. but. This festival belongs a network, uh, SIFT, that whose focus is mostly or exclusively promotional films. So, for me, it's it's not enough. I decide to help its Eurasia Tourism Association to create a new festival that is with whose scope is more large, that take care of tourism in a global uh, global way. Mm -hmm. We have a section of films, of educational films for universities. We have a, a session of documentaries and also a promotional, but most important, our ideological focus is to support good practices in tourism, uh, to support social responsibility of decision makers, because tourism have to be more aligned, aligned with the global agenda, for example, of the uh, United Nations, for example, the, uh, the sustainable goals, the 17 sustainable goals of the United Nations have to be supported by tourism. And nowadays, I feel that sustainability in tourism is, is rhetoric, is not to take seriously. And this festival will support all the initiatives that take sustainability in a deep and honest way. Good, thank you. And when it will be held this year? Uh, the festival will be will take place on 27 September, the, inter, uh, the World Tourism Day. Uh, okay. This year will be in Portugal. Uh, supported by uh, Centro de Portugal Film Commission and Leiria Polytechnic. But all the universities uh, that belong to this space of EuroAsia and EuroAsia Tourism Association are partners. This is a huge network for 
a festival. It will be the first edition, but already very strong festival. I assure you that it will be the biggest festival in tourism from the first edition. Okay, I agree with you. And whoever would like to have more information, they will find the link under yes. the video comment. Just, okay. just, it's a Euro-Asia Tourism Association. It's a art and tourism film festival. Yes, and I hope we will have, we already have uh, um, a lot of videos, no? You are already receiving. We just start the promotion. Uh, so 50% uh, of films comes in last week. 70% uh, of films comes in last month. But we already has 11. <laughs> but this is a good, a good, a good sign because uh, we are in January. The deadline is June. So it's a lot. It's a yeah, lot because it, it, it's, it's January. Uh, so whoever wants more information can go to the website that you can find under this video, as I said. And um, because we wait for more videos, you have time till June. As Francisco, as Francisco said, and uh, we wait, and uh, we will see in September in uh, Portugal. Hopefully, we will we will be welcome. Okay, and um, I think uh, is it now, Francisco. You would like to give um, researchers and students um, some other advices? Maybe, maybe. Look. Uh, when we are young, you, you are afraid that the uh, unknown people in the world uh, are not um, easy to, to reach. But all researchers in tourism are very uh, open to help students. If, for example, you read an article and you find that the email of the author and you want to contact him about a question in the article, please do that. All authors are very open to help. It's very interesting. In my PhD, I was in, in a crossroads with some doubts about what to do. I wrote to the uh, authors of three or four articles and immediately the, 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 the landscape, landscape became for me very clear. Because a lot of knowledge, are, can't, can't go to the article because of limitation of pages, of words. And researchers behind the, the uh, backstage are our friends. So please engage in networks. Please engage in connection with uh, senior researchers. Please in, participate, for example, in this kind of forums like ITSA, that we, this movement that we created six years ago. And, that works very well. The, to be connected is the first step to be um, motivated, to be uh, in good pace to, to the goal. Good, and it's amazing this um, thought that uh, we are friends, the deserters are friends. And yes. it's true because we need each other and nobody can be you. Yes, when we created ITSA, uh, in Taiwan in 2015, uh, I said the, uh, the key for, for the creation of this association is friendship with partnership and partnership with friendship. So uh, when institutions cooperation is maybe it's very formal. When people cooperate, it's totally different. This association is an association of researchers, not an not association of institutions. Mm. So we can put together institutions if people want. If you are friend and we, if, if we personally cooperate, we can, we, can get find, we can get means to put our institution, institutions in cooperation. Thank because you. organizations are made by people. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you because you gave us a lot of very good advices and uh, very sincere. Uh, and we can see that you love your job and you respect it 
because it's a job of responsibility. So, Francisco, thank you so much. Welcome. It was a pleasure. Thank, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Whoever is looking at our video uh, now, live or later. And uh, I think that Francisco also is at your disposal if you have any questions. Of as course. Said. As I said, we are here to be connected. We are here to help. We are here to create something new. Good. And I am with you. Thank you, Francisco. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.